how do you create a successful and engaging and relevant language program in a rural Victorian school? G'day, my name is Jeff Brown. I am the Chinese language teacher here at Cobham Anglican Grammar School, also known as CAGS, and that is exactly what I'm trying to do with my Teaching Innovative Fellowship project. The main aim for this project is to raise the Asia-Pacific capabilities here at CAGS. Currently, student interest in learning Chinese at CAGS is low in secondary school classes, whilst it is received positively in the primary school levels. There's also much existing practice throughout the school with an Asia-Pacific focus. So a coordinated whole school approach is needed. Additionally, I also wish to focus on networking with other schools, both in Victoria and overseas. My first step was to conduct a survey on Google Forms for other rural-based Chinese language teachers to get an idea of who we are and what our needs are. Now, only 12 people responded, including me, but the results were very interesting. For example, only one of us was born in Australia. That was me. Only one of us spoke English as their first language. Also me. Two thirds of us have a master's in education or linguistics. Now, as a whole, we feel very positive about the support we get from our school leaders and community, but many of the challenges we face centre around the expectations of our systems, at student engagement, as well as just feeling really isolated. So far, activities implemented include conducting a whole school audit. This is nearly complete. I have also modelled literacy lessons to one of our Grade 5 6 teaching staff along the theme of writing a non fiction research project based on a country or topic in the Asia Pacific regions. Student feedback was sought at the end of the unit. And the data showed that the majority of the students felt that they had learned something new about Asia and the Pacific, as well as feeling okay about writing non-fiction reports. The next steps for this project is to complete some resources for junior primary, as well as start developing some real networks. My main challenges for this project so far have been being time poor, trying to fit things in, and an acute shortage of available CRTs. However, I am very thankful and grateful for this opportunity to improve my own skills and support languages education in country Victoria. Thanks for listening, everyone. I look forward to being able to report some great things at the end of this project. See you later. <laughs>